Hi hey guys, welcome back to Taylor's Workbench. I'm still in due process of masking all the canopy parts. There's a fiddly bit of work to be done, but you need to be very precise as not to mess up all the clear parts. Test fitting reveals that the canopy parts are uh, fitting very well actually to depict the plane with a closed canopy while it is a little bit of a problem to show it open because the opening and closing mechanism is kind of uh, simplistic. As is typical for this build, there is more than the usual bit of uh, sanding and polishing to be done. Here you can see me cleaning up the uh, seam fitting process along the uh, tail planes and the wing parts. Especially the portions that were put it up heavily around the center wing assembly and the nose um, wheel gear. Uh, need a lot of uh, filling and sanding and refilling and sanding and polishing again. Now here I filmed something pretty much indispensable for um, every time I sit down at the workbench. Uh, first, I wash my hands with uh, some uh, window cleaning agent that uh, takes away the grease from the skin and everything. Um, actually, at this point, with all the polishing done, I really, really shouldn't touch the model with bare hands anymore because all the time there is some uh, grease from the skin that sticks to the surface and uh, it's an endless process of cleaning and wiping everything down. So wearing gloves at a certain, from a certain point of the construction is basically indispensable. You can see that the wingtip tanks are now installed and the process was surprisingly easy. The fit of the part is just excellent and uh, lining them up uh, in the proper direction and um, in correspondence with the center line it was really, really easy and it was a big and pleasant surprise in this kit. Until finally attaching the canopy parts, I'm using some Vallejo paint and the paintbrush to paint the uh, attaching surfaces underneath the glass parts and the anti-glare panel right in front of the pilot. At the same time, I'm painting the inner parts of the exhaust nozzles of the jet. While this paint is drying, I'm using the time to do some rescribing of the panels. For that, I use some stiff plastic tape, uh, the ones that are used to make name tags, and I'm using both the micro chisel and the Hasagawa uh, scribing needle to rescribe the panel lines that were um, either lost or uh, filled up with uh, putty uh, in the uh, closing up of the uh, hull halves. Lost rivet detail are pretty much done the same way, using a uh, pinpoint object to just rescribe all these uh, little rivets. And yet again, while looking at it, uh, you always seem to find imperfections in the surface and so the uh, polishing is taking an extraordinary amount of uh, work in this process. 
after cleaning up all the surface with some white spirit I'm taking on the uh, polishing the final polishing with a micro mesh um, polishing towel and uh, in the last step before the actual primer will be put on I'm using more white glue to fill up seams and uh, close down imperfections. I'm using the white glue as well to glue down the canopy parts because the uh, Elmer's white glue is a water-based glue that will not damage the uh, clear parts uh, upon contact. Window cleaning agent is perfect to remove uh, remainders of white glue of uh, surfaces that need to be painted and perfect. Of course, white glue can be removed using water as well, but uh, window a uh, cleaning agent is much quicker. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon here back at Taylor's Workbench. Bye bye.